And a CBS News poll today shows 53% of Americans believe same-sex couples should be allowed to marry. And the poll, poll also shows a shift. 33% of Americans who support same-sex marriage say they once held the opposite view. KPIX 5's Anna Durangelo is in Richmond where she spoke with people who say the change is coming no matter what the Supreme Court decides. And and Elizabeth, this is the first time that the city of Richmond has flown the rainbow flag over its city hall. It is another sign of the change in public opinion. I was petrified coming out. I didn't come out until after I was, after until I was in college. Rex Pobletti was in his 20s before he came out because he went to Catholic schools where being gay was frowned upon. He was amazed to log on to Facebook today and see an overwhelming number of straight allies from his past. People who made it clear they support same-sex marriage. He was surprised by the public support, but he's been watching public opinion change. When we were in Catholic school, there were a lot of people who were vocal about, you know, homophobia and all that kind of stuff. But today, it's complete 180. I, I actually have yet to meet someone from high school or from grade school who actually has a dissenting opinion on the matter. St. Mary's College sociology professor Cynthia Gannot says society has been building up to this moment. The last election saw huge gains for those who want marriage equality. Ironically, they may look back and credit Prop 8. After the passage of Prop 8, people realized we weren't as, maybe as progressive as we thought in California, that it was time to not assume that those rights were going to be given, but instead to organize. Our country has a history of organizing. It may be what we do best. Think back to the civil rights movement and women's suffrage. And I think these are the kinds of things where at first this is a breach of social norms for people to say we deserve equality. That tension leads to discussion which doesn't always resolve the issue and that's when the courts step in. There's often cases where the law has to step out in front of the society and say we may not all be ready for this kind of civil right to be extended to everyone but it's time. But Rex isn't too worried about what the Supreme Court decides. He believes the tide has changed. You're basically weeding out the ones that still have old-fashioned thinking, and you've got young, the younger generation coming in. And Professor Godot says that if the Supreme Court does uphold Proposition 8, its ruling will give those who want to see abolished, they'll see some guidance given. They'll know whether they should pursue their energies at the state level or the federal level. In Richmond, Anna Durangelo, KPIX 5.